Now you have another option too, and that is to come up to the file menu and you have a lot of options here in export audio. So a couple of ways we can do this is first you select the region. This is your source first of all, so the source of all the sound. You can select all the scenes, so every single scene that we just went through up here will re be recorded start to finish in one whole stretch. Now this is important if you have, if you want it to be like that, make sure you have your lengths of each scene exactly how you want it, however many measures in each pattern. So because it's going to record one time and then it's going to be exported. Now a couple options, if you're recording from all scenes, your output can be whatever you like. You can do the output over the master fader channel, I guess. And so the master output is going to include everything from every single group, every single effect, anything like that. Maybe you actually want separate outputs for each of your groups. So you can see the three groups we have loaded here. It'll make a specific WAV file for each of these. So it's a nice way to track them out individually. And you can go the next step and actually go by individual sound. So every single sound in every single group basically is going to be sent out. So master is a good one. You can also do loop range. Now if we just do the loop range, it's only going to export this part, whatever we have highlighted right now. So as we switch through our different scenes, you know, if I have one scene selected, this is the one right now that's going to be exported. But if we were to select all the scenes and have it looped in one whole thing, it'd be a similar setup to the all scenes. So however you like. Maybe you just want this pre-chorus bounced right away. You can do it like that. Folder is pretty obvious. You can select exactly where you want it to save. I have it saved to the desktop. Um, normalize will actually bring up the volume to the loudest possible level, um, which is just kind of a nice kind of overall give it the last bit of high volume for when you're finishing. Loop optimize. This is important um, when you export things. If you have this checked, uh, it, it'll do specific things like um, keep a reverb tail, for instance. Maybe you have like a nice reverb splash um, at the end on a snare. And so if you don't have this checked, you're going to have a problem where uh, that reverb will cut off once it goes into the new pattern or if the pattern ends and it goes to a new scene. Um, so having looped optimize checked will actually keep that reverb tail going and it's more natural. I just I just always leave it selected no matter what. And then finally you can choose bit depth. So you can do your old school kind of bit crushed uh, old vintage sampler 8 bit. 16 bit is uh, CD quality. 24 bit is the best for if you're taking it out for mastering or something. So maybe I'm just going to select uh, all scenes. I'm going to actually go each group and we'll go and export. Now as this is bouncing your tracks, I'm going to show you, I can bring in each clip is already right here. So now whether I'm dragging individual patterns or exporting each group individually from a specific scene or all scenes, you have it covered in multiple ways. So. Hope this helped. Uh, you're pretty much should be good to go as far as making music um, in machine. You're, it's, this is kind of the start for everything. So check back for some more tutorials. We're going to cover sampling and we're going to cover some advanced techniques um, and cool little tricks, tips that you can use. So thank you for watching and go make some music. All right.